Hello folks, well we're back out again, um, it's lunchtime, I've done the morning, nothing to show you really, um, bit tough, bit windy, bit cool, but uh, I've got a couple of paddocks for the afternoon that I've not been in before, the horses are out of them so I'm going to get over there and I'm going to do them this afternoon and see if we can pick out a goodie or two. Um, my friend Nick was out this morning, he's had to go, he had a little buckle, um, if it cleans up nice uh, and he sends me a picture, which I'm sure he will if it cleans up nice, then I'll pop it on the uh, at the end, but uh, yep, yeah, that's lunchtime over, I'm refuelled, let's go and get stuck in. Oh, okay, this is an edge. Please be something nice, or, or you could just be a button. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that had hammered written all over it, and then it had button written all over it. Uh, oh well, <laughs> got very excited then for a minute. Heartbeat back down to normal. Well, this one had some depth to her, but she's out. Oh, shotgun cartridge right in the middle of the field. Ah, oh, knickers, knackers, and knockers. That's not what we came here for, is it, kiddies? Okay, this is one of those ones that gets better when it's out the hole. So, I have a good feeling about this, he said, putting a complete curse on it. Okay. Aha! Yes. Yes, well and truly cursed. Tiny fragment of metal falling apart in my fingers. Oh, how wonderful. Tick that off the bucket list. Okay, a little bit of depth on this one. Weak signal until I had a bit out. And then a classic clean up jobby. I don't think this is going to be very big. Okay, it's a bullet. It's a lead bullet. And they're often spitty. They don't even have to be that deep sometimes. Um, even though they're lead. I don't know why, but on several machines, they're, they're quite often quite sort of dirty targets. Being a ball of lead, I, I don't understand why, but it does happen quite a bit. Okay, okay, we've got some kind of little barrel tap key or little twisty, twisty key type thing, um, it's not old, I can tell it's not old, but it's something, and it beats twisted bits of metal. Okay, so here's a quick word for all you people who get absolutely terrified of turning down your sensitivity. I just accidentally had it on 50% and it still got that out over the length of the probe. Okay, it's not a small target, I know, but it was over the length of the probe. It is quite thin, actually. Um, so there you go, that was 50%. I didn't even know I was on 50% and it's still banging stuff out. So don't be afraid to turn your sensitivity down. If you have to do it, you have to do it. But it doesn't mean you're not going to find anything. Okay, I don't know how well you can see that on the video, but we have a rim and we have a coin colour. Um, that was a very, very small target on the pinpoint. A bit of depth on it, about five or six inches probably. And yeah, that's not a coin. That is a coin. Oh, it's a smooth coin. Oh boy, it's a smooth coin. I think that's got some age to it. Wow, that is a smooth coin. That's going to be one I think when I get home to clean very carefully. There might just be something on that, but that's old and that is very, very thin indeed. That really is. It's almost hammered thin, but it's copper. It's perfectly round, so. I'm thinking maybe George the first, George the second, I don't know. Um, I'll clean it up. 
and we'll have a better look but it looks pretty smooth but that's an old coin definitely oh yuck jumpy numbers and judging by the look of that I'd say possibly iron but they were jumpy numbers but that was a 50-50 I've had good stuff with jumpy numbers so yeah sometimes size and object and depth just fools these machines okay I've turned you back on again that little bit of metal that little bit of rusty nail wasn't the target that was I don't know what that is I don't know it's nothing good um, but it's definitely a high conductor so I was talking absolute rubbish it wasn't the jumpy numbers it was the fact that there was iron and a good target right next to each other in the hole and it was trying to tell me that and it did tell me that okay that was a jumpy signal um, I've had a few like that lately that haven't been anything very much good so I wasn't filming and I am now because if this isn't something good then I don't know what is because I can see writing on a very thin thing and there it is in the clod we'll break it open together this has got to be something good it's possibly a sixpence oh it's a Victoria oh I'm over the moon Victorian silver absolutely fantastic I think it's probably a sixpence it's a tiny little thing but it's a widow head yep here we go oh it's thin it's thin it's a little Queen Victoria widow head um, let me get you let me get it cleaned up slightly very gently and then let me do a close-up in the field okay folks there she is in all her crowning glory oh look at that isn't that beautiful Victorian silver I absolutely love the Victorian era and I'm just chuffed to bits to get that the other side I'm very sorry to say is pretty darn worn but I'll clean it some more at home with the old spit and foil very gently or as gently as you can with spit and foil and uh, yeah I'll, I'll show you it finished and cleaned you can see look it's, it has got quite a bit on there there is quite a bit of detail on there but Victorian silver look at the twists and the bashes in it cough blimey it's been in the wars hasn't it eh? yeah it's uh, it's definitely seen better days but then give it a break you know it's not the youngest coin on the planet by a mile but it's made my day happy max well we had the overload signal on this one and a big target with the uh, pinpoint yeah I think we're gonna go from a nice bit of Victorian silver to a beer can or so oh no maybe not a beer can maybe maybe a huge latch <laughs> No, no wonder I got a good signal off that. By Jove, sir, that's a whopper. Okay, we are way over length of the probe. And we have got something right down the middle of the hole. So, all the numbers were good. So, very carefully now, just in case it's something really nice smack down the middle of the hole <laughs> it couldn't be more central <laughs> it could not be more middle of the hole if it wanted to be by gum I'm going to have to go back to the shovel on this one. Okay, so I dug down 17 inches and I thought I'd found myself some kind of missile. Uh, so I dug a bit more around it, started to get a little bit worried and then realised it's a pipe. So I've detected in either direction away from the hole and yep, it forms a nice straight line. So I've just dug down 17 inches for some kind of pipe. I think I'll fill that one in and move on. Hi folks, 
So I managed to get an idea on that really worn, uh, smooth copper. Um, I didn't get to do any filming on day two. I did go out, and I'm going to show you something really weird that I want your help with in a moment. But that is a King George the Second copper. It's very, very worn, but I have managed to ID the head, and that is all I can get off of it. Now, this came up in the high winds on day two, and I have not got a clue what that is. It's metal, and it looks like some kind of back-to-front writing. If you look at that, it really does look like it's double O M. Um, but yeah, it looks like an F underneath as well, facing the wrong way. Um, I have turned it round. Let me just do that for you now. But it just doesn't look right. I mean, it is possible that it should be that way up. But if that's a W, then what on earth is that above it? I, I don't believe that that's the correct way. It's clearly broken. I mean, you can clearly see that it's just a fragment. But what on earth is that? Let me just turn that so you can really get a good look at it. What on earth is that? Is that some kind of thing that would have been pressed into something else to give a reverse letter or give the correct lettering the right way around? Is it part of some kind of plate used for printing? I don't know. It's definitely part of something and not the whole thing. If you look there where my finger's wiggling, you can see it looks like there was a little hole down there. That actually looks like there might have been some kind of hole in the corner. Um, for what purpose, I do not know. I'm just stumped with that. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Um, it's a fragment of something, but it just appears to be back to front lettering. Never seen anything like it. If you've got any ideas what that is, please give me a shout. Okay, sorry I couldn't give you any uh, footage of day two, but as I say, it was just too windy. So until the next time, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you soon.